Welcome to STAD Foundation Advanced Tutorials by Civil Thinking and in this class we are going to see how to design an eccentric isolated footing. Okay? Now you might know what is an eccentric footing. Eccentric footing is something where there is eccentricity. So to, to illustrate it let me show you this example here. As you can see here this column is not exactly at the centroid of the foundation. Okay? So if I draw the centroid of this foundation so you might see it is off off the centroid okay now if it was in exactly in the center we see there is no eccentricity and then it was the case of concentric okay so we have already done the concentric foundation isolated footing in our previous class now in this class we are going to see how to design the eccentric okay now what is eccentric eccentric is when there is some eccentricity between the column and the foundation centroid okay now this is the centroid of what this is the centroid of column right and this one is the centroid of footing okay now you can see they are not at the same point okay so if i see what is the eccentricity if i assume this is the x axis okay and this is the z axis so this much is the you know eccentricity along the x-axis and this much this much is the eccentricity along the z-axis okay so we are going to design this eccentric eccentric footing okay so let us begin so as always we will create a new project and as always we are going to you know design it in the general mode okay so general foundation is the general mode so as always let me first save the project i am going to save it here i am going to name it as eccentric isolated footing right okay now we have saved our project so let us begin the steps as i have told you in the previous class we have to follow the steps from top especially from foundation plan okay to bottom up to the job setup okay so we will move from one and move downwards in each option okay so the first step is always the column position okay so the column position I will define the you know position of the column at the centroid that is 0 0 and 0 okay this is our column position and now the column dimensions now let us suppose the column dimensions are 1 feet 1 feet and 1 feet okay uh, we, we can change it and I am good with 1 feet okay so I am not gonna change this so our column position and the size of the column is fixed okay now let us move on to other now I am not going to insert a pad, you know pedestal if we had considered I would just simply click yes and choose the dimensions of the pedestal okay but for the you know for this tutorial I am not going to choose any pedestal okay so let us move on to the loads and factors so I am going to create a new load I will call it as dead load okay and it is already in the dead load and it will be in primary so what is primary as i have told you before the primary loads are used in both the service and the ultimate okay so i will set it as primary and add so i will similarly i will create another load case i will name it as live load okay again it will be primary means it, it is going to be used in the both service and the ultimate checks so i will set the loading type here as dead load and add okay now these are our load cases now we have to actually add the loads so i will right click on the dead load case and click on add column reaction here let us suppose the load acting on the you know the foundation is going to be negative why negative because it is acting downwards negative for example uh, let us say 50 50 kips okay and click on add then I will click on the live load case right click and add column reaction load means I am going to define a you know column reaction in the live load so let us say it is minus 20 kips okay I will click on add 
now i will assign okay all of them assign to selection so that this one is this is selected so i have assigned the dead load now i will assign the live load assign to selector and hit on assign okay now you can see our loads are ready okay this is our dead load and this one is our live load okay now let us create the load combinations okay uh, let me tell you we can also design it with without creating the load combinations we can only use dead load and live load okay but that won't be good you know as per the other criteria okay for the stability and safety of our footings we also we always we should always create what we should always create load combinations according to the you know design code of that country okay so i will hit on the generate load combination i am going to use again the american code okay table number 7.16 so i will generate the load combinations okay so this was the service load combination now i will generate the ultimate load combination okay our load combinations are ready so i can safely close this okay let yes we have to save it as i have told you before we have to occasionally save our file okay so uh, you know let me so let we are done with the foundation plan we have set the location of our column we have set the location of our you know the dimensions of our column we have set the loads and we have also created the load combinations so we have finished these two steps now let us move on to the soil property and see if we if everything is good now here it is we have this table auto generated by the program okay and it is good now the job setup we have to create a new job okay so i will name the job as eccentric isolated footing job okay assigned to selected this is selected so it is go it is going to assign to it i am going to use all the lo lo these load cases so i will export all right and scroll down and click on create job so our job is ready you can see here a new i you know a new list is created in the main navigator by the name of isolated footing job okay now we will specify specify the other factors especially the eccentricity okay now these are the concrete and reinforcement you know details like what is the unit weight of concrete that you want to use in designing this foundation what should be the strength you know what is what is the strength of the concrete you know grade that you are using okay and all of these things okay you can set it here then we have the cover and soil which is the geotechnical part okay so this is also good uh, if you want to change anything you can change here based on the you know soil soil conditions uh, this is good now footing geometry is important right now because we want to insert what we want to insert some eccentricity here okay so so how do we insert the uh, this eccentricity we insert it using offsets okay so offset in the x axis is is the eccentricity along x axis okay and offset in z axis is the eccentricity along z axis and to illustrate this let me show it here now this this distance okay along the x axis this is ex okay this is the eccentricity along x axis or we also say it is the offset along x axis okay put the values okay now let me arbitrarily put the eccentricity values okay let us say for example eccentricity along the x axis is for example 15 inch okay and let us say the eccentricity along the z axis is 20 inch okay so they are arbitrary and you are going to choose whatever you know is good for your footing okay or whatever is specified okay now we have the sliding and overturning factors they should be 1.5 and 0.5 they are good okay now again if you want to change you can change them based on your project specifications okay now we are good to design it okay so i will hit the design and it will the program will begin designing okay so so the program will begin soon you can see it is designing 
it is doing the iteration processes let us see if we get any error or not if we got error so we have to go back and change the things the errors are showing in the red color okay but as i can see i don't see any red color here okay so it is it means our foundation is good as per the specifications that we provided so hopefully i don't think there will be any error okay it is taking a while because it, it is doing you know iterations let us give it some time okay the you know the processing is complete the analysis is complete okay so we can see uh, number of warnings are zero and number of errors are zero so we are successful in the design so let me print this and i will show you the eccentricity here okay I will name it as eccentric isolated footing report so now let us open the report here we have as you can see right in the section you can see this is the eccentricity okay so right here you will very well you know see the eccentricity okay so you can see how much is the eccentricity here okay so if we check the values here so this is the eccentricity along x axis 15 inch right this is what we set in our program and this is the eccentricity along the z axis okay which is 20 inch okay so these are the you know this is the section view and this is the details okay so the program has best specified the length to be 9.83 feet okay then the width is the same thickness is this okay and the reinforcement in this you can see we have 37 you know bars of diameter 3 okay and 37 bars uh, of diameter 3 okay that is the bottom reinforcement along x axis this is along z axis okay and the program has not provided any top reinforcement okay so all of these things you can you know you can take your time and read them carefully okay uh, i advise you to read everything because you will learn a lot of things here okay so you can see these you know checks this is the stability check okay what is this this is you know the depth how do you, how does it calculate the effective depth okay as per the aci you know aci code american concrete institute code right aci so everything is ready okay so i hope you understand everything okay i think that's it if you have any doubts you can comment and see you in the next class thank you